Yo, what's up, you YouTube tactical mother humpers? Well, I just got, I told you I was getting a Glock 19. Very, very good friend of mine sold this to me. And uh, um, I had a Glock 19 a long time ago, and I traded it for a SIG P250. Worst mistake I ever made in my entire gun dumb decisions. That one took the cake. Oh, I keep getting PMs about these uh, coffee mugs. Uh, I, I can't really sell them. I mean, I have them. I have a lot of them. But it's hard for me to sell them because they're real porcelain, so they're heavy. So the shipping costs so much, it ain't even worth it for me to do it. It costs like eight bucks to ship one of these. I mean, how much am I going to charge for a coffee mug, right? I'm going to charge 10 bucks. I'm going to walk to the post office for two dollars. I mean, it's just, it's just, so what I do is, well, what we're going to do with these is, um, for you local guys that go to Double Action, if you watch the Armory channel, if you're, not, if you're a fan of the channel, you'll be able to get one of these at the gun shop, because we're going to sell them there. All right, ten, you know, ten bucks, they're worth every penny, and uh, they're beautiful, they're, they're porcelain, and uh, the artwork and the detail on them is pretty perfect. So that's that's what I'm gonna do with them. I just just it's just it's not worth for me to ship them through the mail on because like I said the weight the weight. So that's the problem. Uh, another thing we got coming up, uh, the company BTB that sells these uh, these bulletproof safety glasses, shooting glasses, and they're 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 glasses you can wear for dress too. They're sending a couple glass a few glasses here because I got permission from the range owner. I never could do a demonstration on them because I didn't know anybody at a range and my other range, you know how they are, he must forget about that. But I got the I got the okay to do a demonstration to show you that these are bulletproof. These will handle a 22 long rifle or even a shotgun blast bird shot at 30 feet and 22 caliber gun. You know, a 22 caliber at like 40 feet uh, these they will not penetrate, penetrate these glasses, so as soon as they get here, uh, we're going to go to the range and do that. That's going to be fun. So, but they're really nice glasses, man. They're so light. I'll tell you about them when they come. What I'm going to do now is show you my new Glock 19. Uh, my buddy Glenn uh, sold this to me, and he gave me a really good deal. I'm going to tell you everything. I'm going to tell you how much I paid for it and everything. We got a Generation 3. Glock 19, new Glock. Dull slides, got the new finish on the barrel, which I like. Um, I just got back from the range. I put 50 rounds of hollow points through it without even cleaning it. Uh, right out of the box. He never shot it. And, uh, I sh you know, Glock is one of the rare guns you can shoot right out of the box, and they're ready to go. And it ran perfect. It shot dead nuts accurate, and it has a great trigger. So there it is, Gen 3 Glock, uh, my friend Glenn sent it to me, uh, he has a steel guide rod in there, had some upgrades, has the, the uh, Packmeyer glove grip that I love so much, and it also has an American flag back plate on there, so I'm, I'm leaving that on there too, I'm leaving everything alone, gun shoots great, um, so what we're going to do is we are going to put on A, uh, well, let me tell you what he gave me at first. I got this. I got three mags. Here, here, here's a 17 rounder magazine he, he gave me, and two other mags. So I got three mags. Uh, came with a, uh, of course, these are my favorite cleaning brushes. These, these, t these certain ones that Glock uses, they're real strong and firm. They have a lot of bristles and they hold up a long time. They don't get worn out. That's why I like them. And where's the rod, dude? He gave me the original stock uh, recoil guide rod and spring, which was cool. Glock shitty easy loader. Oh, here it is. Glock rod. Love these. These are great. Okay. So, uh, everything for four seventy five. How about that? Four seventy five. I had to do it, man. It's crazy, and I don't have to do nothing to it. I'm going to put two parts in it. He also has uh, the. Uh, Glockmeister butt plug in there, which I love. So he's just like me. He likes his guns the same way I like mine. And what we're going to do 
is we are going to put in. Oh, did you hear about Ebomi? You know, because he's gay. You know Minnesota Fats. You know Ebomi's from Ebomi's from Minnesota. So you know Minnesota Fats. Well, since uh, Eric's gay, we call him Minnesota Chaps. Okay. Anyway, I just got this. Vickers Tactical Tango Down. Probably one of the best slide releases that's on the market. I am a huge fan of these ever since I was introduced to one of these. And from Brass Stacker, I have an extended <coughs> slide release, you know, takedown tabs. And as you can see, they're cut on a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to put that in. Okay? So, the first thing you want to do is get everything out of the way. The second thing you want to do is try to fart. Wait a minute. Oh man, it didn't work that time. Uh, to relax your body. And you know, when you're 45 and you can't pee, for some reason when you fart, it allows you to pee better because, I don't know, I guess it gives your bladder more room to expand. Uh, I will take this down. He has the, the bling bling nickel takedown tab on there. Uh, I'm really not a fan of that. Glenn, sorry, that's got to come out, buddy. So, what I'm going to do is uh, pull the trigger, pull it back just a touch, take the slide off. There is your steel rod. I don't know where you got it from, Glockmeister, Brass Stacker. I don't know, but it looks like a good one to me. Looks like a real good one. Okay, take that out of there. Damn. Okay, gun's dirty. I ran through 50 rounds through it, plus the factory rounds through it. He, he claimed he never shot it. I believe him because it don't look like anyone shot it, but like I tell, you can't tell. But he's a good guy. I believe him. Doesn't matter. Okay, what am I doing? Alright, get this all out of here. All I need is the frame. These are pretty simple to put in, uh, these extended takedown tabs. And what these are is they stick out a little further than the, than the factory tabs, which he has already extended takedown tabs, but I'm not crazy about the chrome. And there's one, two, three teeth. This has one, two, three, four teeth. And it's just a better design. Okay. Now I'm going to look at it. Make sure this has a, a track on this side, and there's not a track on the other side. So you've got to make sure you put that in in the right direction. There's also a little notch under here. That's how it locks in. So all you do is, there's a spring in here, I know I can't show you, and all you do is push it down and that slides right out. So what I need is a punch, I'll use a brass punch, I'll use, I guess I'll use this punch, and I'm tearing up my punches. And there's a spring in here, and all you do is push it down. And the shithead falls right out of there. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my other one. Remember the track. The track faces the rear. I'm gonna slide this in, and I'm gonna push the spring down. What are you doing, dork? Slid it in too far. Just push the spring down. Okay. Till it clicks. There it is. This takedown tab is really unique. I, I can't explain it to you. It's it's cut like this. You watching me? It's a 45 degree angle. So it kind of it gives you that extra, but it takes it takes material off the top end. So it's it's less that it would snag on to anything. It's a really cool design. I don't know if you can see that. And you can get these at Brass Stacker. I don't think anyone else makes them like that. Very, very unique. So when you put parts in a gun like this, you have to go shoot your gun afterwards. So that's pretty cool. I'll let you know how I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it, hopefully it functions. Now what I want to do is take this out. And I haven't done this in a while. It's got to be this pin. It's this pin here. We're just going to punch that out, and then that, that lever should come right out. Now, what I like about the Vickers Tango Down Tactical, Vic, Vickers Tactical Tango Down, say it right, it sticks out, but it don't stick out too much. 
and then you want to check the spring on here make sure there's a good crimp where it's holding it make sure that's nice and tight if that's loose send it back because your gun's not going to work okay or try to fix it yourself so there that is it's a very unique uh, design compared to the uh, Glockmeister type or wolf type I like this one the best okay look at that so we're gonna put that in hopefully we won't fuck shit up so let me get a roll of duct tape and uh, haven't done this in a while make sure I know how to do this again okay it goes under there and that goes under there okay now there's a pin here and a pin here you should only have to take out this big pin Uh, you just got to give it a good whack unfortunately Okay, there's the pin when it comes out. It has grooves in it and the grooves lock in And that's the resistance you're feeling Okay Okay, now this will come right out See how it's in there See how that's in there pretty simple okay it's just a bitch to get the pin out sometimes so we're going to take that out that's a good part it's great to have spare parts now I'll check the spring so make sure I didn't mess it up because I had to hit that pretty hard and it's still crimped in here pretty good so these are great to have backups because these wear out the spring gets loose and it's great to have another one laying around now I'm going to put the tango down the Vickers in there that bad boy in there like that Man, it's so much nicer. Make sure the holes are lined up. You gotta watch, you can't push too much. You gotta get it in there just right. Got it. Don't force things. If it ain't going in, if it ain't going in pretty easy, you got a, you got an issue. Okay, now I might have to uh, tap it the rest of the way. So Use my punch. Because it, it it goes by two grooves. It's a pain in the ass. There it goes. You shouldn't you, usually if you get this lined up right, you shouldn't need a hammer to punch. You should be able to get a punch and just push through. I'm being impatient. I'm being an idiot. Okay? I'm I'm trying to rush it. Now it should snap in. There it goes. Perfect. Now I'll test this. Make sure that's all right. You want it to pull down. If it don't pull down, your slide won't lock back or vice versa. Okay, now I'll put my slide back on. Really, I didn't have to take the barrel out and all that, but I want to because I want it to look it over. I got 50 rounds through it. I'm not even going to clean it. And we're going to put another 100 rounds to it tomorrow. Make sure the gun operates with these aftermarket parts in it. At least 100 rounds. If you get through 100 rounds, you're going to be alright. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it's so much nicer. So much easier to operate that now. Let's try it again. So I was pulling it not in the natural way. Natural way for me to pull it. Okay, so it is operating okay. Um, it wouldn't hurt, I guess, to put a drop of oil in there, but and let's see with the mag, uh, it should lock back. Okay. There it is, it's going up like it should. It's locking back. Drop the mag out. Yeah, it's fine. If you don't feel good about it, that's what you get this oil with the syringe, just a drop. Just till it breaks in a little. Give it a couple of these. Reduce the friction a little. And uh, it's good to go. Man, I'll tell you, these, uh, this Tango down, Vickers, man. I'm, I'm getting it for every Glock. I'm getting another one. I'm getting it for my Glock 23, too. 
Definitely. No doubt about it. No doubt in my mind. He has a three and a half connector in here. I definitely can feel the difference. You can feel the difference more with a Gen 3 than a Gen 4. I mean, that trigger is light. And that's it. There it is. Show you the tango down, how much it sticks out. It's just right. Very finely serrated. It's very easy to use. And then there's your extended takedown lever. It extends at the bottom and then it's flush at the top. So it's, it feels very natural when you grab it. Let's give it a test. I forgot to test that. Okay, I'm going to take my slide off. Let's see if it's easy. Okay, what I would do is right, pull the trigger, pull it back. Just pull, oh yeah, no effort whatsoever. Works fantastic. Brass stacker. Way to go guys. That's an awesome takedown tab system. Awesome. And that's it. Hope you guys liked the video. Glock 19. I'm going to put another 100 rounds to it. If it works good, it's going to be uh, another carry weapon I can use for when I work at the uh, gun shop.